be great. It doesn't have to be super heavy. If you don't have a weight, again, not a huge deal. Uh, we'll find a way to modify. Uh, we will be using um, a little mini band in class. Again, if you don't have that mini band, not a problem. Uh, but if you could find something that would equivalent to some weight, maybe in the range of 15 to 25 pounds, that would be great. Um, if you don't have anything, again, we'll make some modifications as we need. Uh, but again, my name is Eric. I'll be coaching you through today here with Fitness in the City. Uh, we're still going to give everybody about another two, three minutes to log on. Uh, we'll take you through a quick five to eight minute warm up. And uh, then I'll explain the, the movements that we're going to go through. And then we'll get nice and sweaty and have some fun. So I'll be checking in with you here again another uh, another minute or two. Uh, again, if you're just joining us, welcome in from Porch Festival, guys. We'll be getting uh, kicked off here in a couple minutes. Talk to you soon. Soon we're going to get done. Just capital, capital F, fifteen. Yeah, sometimes it's capital, sometimes you know you just you never know. Like they're not expecting music from us, right? I don't know if we didn't ask. Okay. Okay. No, it doesn't matter. It's stream. It's not a YouTube. It's not like uploading content. So as long as they can hear us. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, guys. Good morning. Uh, from here, from Fitness in the City. Again, my name is Eric Waller. Uh, for those of you guys that are joining us uh, from the Front Porch Festival, welcome in. Um, for those of you guys that are with us just from our community, also welcome for your Saturday morning workout. Uh, power hour this morning. So, again, uh, for this workout today, you're going to need your weight. Um, if you have it available, um, your band, potentially an elevated surface. So all three of those things. Uh, again, my name is Eric. Fitness in the City. Uh, we'll be uh, taking you through a 45-minute strength workout this morning. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here in-house. I uh, have my participants come out. We'll go through um, a nice little warm-up, five to eight minutes. Um, we'll get rolling. So we'll give you guys about another minute um, just so we can kind of get situated. That way we can stay on track with our time. But again... Welcome in everybody from the Front Porch Festival. Uh, welcome in our Fitness in the City community. Um, anybody that's out there on the drop-ins, popping in with us this morning, welcome in guys. Um, normal Saturday morning workout. Uh, we got Stefan Olander, AKA the hammer in house right here. And then uh, entering the screen next, uh, Ricky, don't wear no shoes in my house, Seagrass. Uh, that's, uh, that's what we got today guys. Three pack of amigos in here today. Um, for those of you guys that are following along with us at home, um, our Spotify playlist today is under Stefan Olander, uh, the infamous Champagne Poppy playlist. Uh, we're going to be going and getting that playlist going here, uh, linked up in about five seconds. So again, if you haven't found it yet, we posted it on our Instagram and also in the chat. Um, again, it's under Stefan Olander um, on Spotify. The playlist is called Champagne Poppy. The ever so popular first song, Hotline Bling. I don't know if you've ever heard it. It was pretty fire back in the day. We're going to go and start with that. We're going to go and link that baby up in about five seconds. Three, two, and one, guys. We'll go ahead and get that going uh, just so we're all linked up. Um, we're going to start down, guys, on our back to start with today. We're going to go through this warm-up nice and easy. We're going to start down on your back. Again, if you're just joining us, uh, potentially a band, an elevated surface, and a weight, uh, we're going to start by hugging one knee in tall to your chest, circling an ankle around. So as you can see the guys here behind me, I'll kind of step out of the way, circle the ankle, switching sides, uh, back and forth a couple times here. Just starting to take some tension out of that lower back, hug that knee tall to your chest, circle that ankle around, clockwise, counterclockwise, switching at your leisure, taking your time here. We'll work from the ground up for about the first eight minutes, um, get you nice and warm, primed up, and then we'll work on getting you sweaty here. So after you get a couple of those on either side, 
How about you pull both your knees in tall to your chest and let both knees fall over to the right side or to the left side. Again, taking a little trunk twist here, unwinding your back. Again, I'm gonna kind of move out of the way. You'll just hear my voice as I continue to coach you through this warm up. You can follow along on screen by watching them, what they're doing in house, or feel free to proceed to take your own warm up, whatever you need. But we're gonna spend the next five minutes here warming up in house. So as you're doing some rotations with your knees back and forth, side to side, moving things around, just kind of getting things loosened up, just exploring what might be tight, what might be sore. That's what we're kind of working on here in house. As soon as you get done with those, we're gonna pop it straight over into uh, the hands and knees position. So the hands and knees kneeling position. Um, again, just some exploratory movement, um, working on some cat cows, going up, down, and around. Again, just checking in with that spine. As you're doing this, feel free to tuck your chin to your chest, raising your head back, kind of moving things around, shifting that weight into your shoulders. Feel free to maybe spin your hands open so your thumbs are gonna face towards the outside, get a little external rotation of those shoulders, load over those shoulders. Again, nice exploratory movements, anything really in this warm up works. Uh, just kind of checking in with the body, maybe taking your hips side to side as your back goes up and down, rounding it out, depressing that spine, moving things around, nice and easy there. Um, once you're kind of done and satisfied with how that's feeling, we're gonna step one foot through to a kneeling position. So as that one foot comes through to the floor, arms are gonna go up nice and tall, big reach, big, nice, big stretch here. And then folding over that high knee side to a lateral body stretch. Um, and then when you're ready, replacing the knee down with the other knee. Again, so just switching your knees, staying down on the floor, pushing down and in, using your arms as a lever, reaching up nice and high, big stretch, and then fold over that top knee side. Again, we'll take about one more on each side here. Uh, maybe when you come back to that first knee, take that front foot out a little bit further forward so you can push down and in, lengthen out those hip flexors. Use your arms as a lever again. If you'd like to floss it back and forth there, that's an option. But make sure you're pushing down and in, and then you're working to a nice big lateral bend here. Really good work there, guys. Back and forth there. Once you're done from this kneeling position, we're going to go and bring you up to a standing position. So again, when you're ready, let's go and bring yourself up to your feet. We're going to start in with some nice big hip circles. So both feet are planted on the floor. Um, as Rick likes to say, put your hips in a barrel and touch all sides of the barrel. So we're just gonna kind of move those hips all the way around. Um, also known as a hula hoop here, nice big circles, clockwise, counterclockwise. Again, just extending out that lower back, um, extension through the hips, hip flexors, moving things around. Um, after you take a few hip circles, forward, backwards, clockwise, counterclockwise, Starting with actually lifting your leg and coming internal rotations with your hips. So stepping over inside, inside, and then we'll go outside, outside. So now we're lifting those feet off the ground, shifting that weight from side to side, inside, inside, outside, outside. Nice big circles. Again, no set number that you need to do here. Just do enough to where your hips start feeling warm. After you get those hip circles done, feel free to go into some body weight squats. So find a good position with your feet. Head and chest up. We're going to take it right into some body weight squats. Nice and easy here. Again, how that looks for you, whether it's sl toes slightly turned out, whatever depth you're finding this morning, completely fine. Again, just start to load those legs up and down. Great job. Really good work, guys. Back and forth here. Once you get some air squats in, we'll do the same thing back upstairs with our shoulders. We'll swim those arms forward and back, just like we did by lifting those legs. Nice big swimmers. Imagine and we're just taking those shoulders so right up over the top, like we're trying to scrape those hands, touch the ceiling. Let's go forward with those shoulders, and then we'll take them backwards. We'll forward and back motion here, getting them loose, getting those shoulders lubricated here. After we start to get those shoulders moving, we'll start it with some nice easy hinges, so a good morning. So now we're hinging at the waist, keeping those legs tall and long as we're hinging over forward. Good, so now we're checking in with the hamstrings. Rick's gonna turn sideways here so you can see what that looks like from the side. Keeping his hips high, hinging over. Make sure it's not a squat. That's the only thing that needs to be different is that it's not a squat, it's definitely a hinge. Okay, so we're just hinging over. And then when you feel you've had enough hinges or good mornings here, we're now gonna take a hinge, put our hands on the floor, walk it out to a high plank. So we're gonna walk it all the way out to a high plank. Once we get into that high plank, we're gonna work a little bit more shoulder mobility. Lift your right arm like you're trying to touch the camera out in front of you and then set it back down. And then your left arm, let's go back and forth, three on each side. Shoulder mobility here, keeping your feet nice and wide in the back. After you get about three lifts per side, go ahead and walk those hands right back in towards those toes by lifting your hips, stretching out those calves, 
Again, if you need to pause in there, that's fine. Stand yourself all the way back up and reach up towards the ceiling. Nice big reach. Perfect. This time, let's walk it back out again. Walk it back to that high plank. Again, notice you're going to keep your feet wide in the back. Now we're going to rotate up to where one arm's going to rotate up and touch the ceiling. So rotating up, touching the ceiling, then plant the other arm down, switch sides. Again, we'll do three per side here as we're getting some nice big trunk rotation and also stabilizing, loading those shoulders. Perfect. After you get three on each side, we'll walk it back up to standing. Again, nice and easy. Again, pausing where you need, pedaling out those calves, stretching those hamstrings as you come back up to your standing position. Take your time as you're bringing yourself back up. We're then gonna move forward to a pendulum lunge. So just say your right leg is gonna step forward into a lunge. It'll tap the center and then it'll reach back for a lunge. Let's go two forward, two back. So big step forward, tap in the middle and then same leg goes back. Forward lunge, tap in the middle and go back. You can start on the same side, stay on the same side, forward and back. So you get four lunges on your right leg and then you get four lunges on your left leg. Nice and easy here. Once we get done there, we're gonna get our arms out to the side. Let's go a little internal, external rotation. So chin to chest, right of your right shoulder, kind of moving things around. A little internal, external rotation here, making sure those shoulders feel lubricated. Again, checking it with your neck, chin to chest, right of your right shoulder, left of your left shoulder, whatever that looks like, moving things around, making sure there's no impingements. When you're done with your shoulders, we're gonna go right into high kicks. So we're gonna step forward and kick, right to left, left to right, kicking out in front of you. So again, lengthening out those hamstrings, starting to get a little bit more dynamic. This will be our last um, kind of static movement here. Um, as we're just kind of getting these kicks going, we're gonna start to build up. So as soon as you get about four or five kicks on each side, feel free to start getting a bounce in your step. Start getting a little bounce in your step here. Start to shake out those arms a little bit. Um, just kind of start to shake things out. Start to do a little trunk twist here. So hips go one way, shoulders go another again, getting loose, letting things flow, blood from fingertips to toe tips. Take a few jumping jacks here. We got the International Sign of Fitness maybe five to 10 jumping jacks, followed by five to 10 butt kickers, heels coming up, striking the glutes. Notice we're trying to get the heart rate up a little bit here, starting to focus on your breathing, catching your breath. Okay, from there, take it to some cross jacks, right over, left over, so now the feet and arms are crossing in front of us. And then we'll take it into a few high knees or some A skips, however you want to, just bring those knees up a little bit. Give yourself room, maybe you're working with your neighbor, you're gonna do a little bit of lateral shuffle, after your knees are coming up, so just a little shuffle, whether it's an ice skater, anything side to side, works back and forth, guys. And then we're just gonna take two sprawls, your hands are gonna hit the floor, legs shoot out and in, also known as a burpee, we'll be doing this one. Um, but we're gonna call that good for your warm up. so as soon as you get done with those two guys, um, grab your towel, grab a weight, whatever you need. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start to explain what we have going on. Um, so today, again, what we have is we're gonna be doing a one-sided movement for 40 seconds, We'll do the mirror opposite for the other 40 seconds, and then we'll move on to a new movement. We'll have six movements, we'll go through two times, and then we'll have a little finisher. So this first movement that we're gonna need, if you have an elevated surface, we do here in, in the studio, I'm gonna bring it up. This could be, um, it could be your couch, it could be your coffee table, it could be really anything. What we're gonna do, you're gonna place your heel on there, make sure your knee is directly over your hip. You're gonna press out of that heel to do a bridge, come up, then back down, and then I'm gonna reach up and do it. Reach up a cross toe touch. So bridge first, come down, opposite arm, opposite toe, that one that's up. We'll do this for 40 seconds. Bridge, up to toe tap. We'll then switch, we'll do the other side. Again, I'll cue you through, but we'll do 40 seconds on the right, 40 on the left. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my participants back in. That's how we're gonna get it kicked off this morning. So 40 seconds of a single leg bridge to a cross body. Toe touch for a little bit more for the abs. So 40 seconds on the right, 40 on the left. We're gonna get started in 10 seconds, guys. So set yourself up for success here. Again, heel is on the box, your knee is over your hip. You can see how the participants are lined up here. We're gonna go in five seconds. Here we go in three, in two, and let's go. Bridge first, reach down, and then reach up and across to toe tap. Same side in a row for 40 seconds, priming the glutes and the abs here. Hip bridge right to toe tap. Again, if you don't have an elevated surface, not a problem. Continue to just bridge off of the floor and then reaching up, you're doing great. Stefan's gonna show you that there. He's gonna come off of that elevated surface. So again, he's bridging from the floor and then reaching up. We still have 15 seconds left on this side. So again, how many you get, completely up to you. Just keep on working this whole time. We'll give you a few seconds in between. We still have five seconds of work here. So try to get one, maybe two more reps in three, in two, and good, guys. Great job switching sides. 
You're only going to get about 10 seconds. We don't really need to switch a whole lot. Other foot goes on the box or on the floor in three, in two, and let's go. We bridge and then reach across our body up to that toe. Good work here in house. We got 40 full seconds, and then we'll show you your new movement, guys. You're doing well. Great job. Keep on working. Again, you're just bridging up and then toe tapping across, guys. Really good job. We have 20 seconds left here in house. 20 seconds. You guys are doing great. Continue to push here. Bridge and then opposite arm coming to that toe. So again, you're going to feel this in your hamstring and your glute and then also in those abs. Again, as you see, Stefan, sometimes you shift in this movement, so you want to just continue to reset yourself. We're done in three. We're done in two. And we rest, guys. Great job. Really good work. So in-house, guys, what we have next, we're going to go to a burpee to two rows. So if you have a weight available, all on one side is going to be one burpee to two rows. So the weight is right outside of my body. I'm going to do a burpee like we did in the warm-up. Down and in, no push-up, come up. One row, two row. Set it back down, back out, back in. One sprawl or burpee, one row, two row. You'll be doing that same side for 40 seconds, and then we'll switch to the other. So again, take your time. One burpee to two rows. That's how we're going to kick it off. We're going to kick it off in 10 seconds, guys. So again, I'm going to move out of the way. My participants are going to come in. Again, whether you start on your right side or left side, completely up to you. We're going in three. We're going in two. And let's go. We have a sprawl out in, no push up, two rows. One row, two row. Down, same thing. Pace yourself. Again, if for some reason you don't have a weight to today, no big deal. You could just follow along with us here and maybe do a push up instead of the row. So you'll be getting a little bit more chest as we're getting a little bit more back activation here. We have 20 seconds left, still on this side. Again, if you're not a big fan of the sprawls or burpees, take your rows a little bit slower. Okay, be strategic on how you're doing this. You guys are doing great. 10 seconds left here. Okay, you're doing well. Continue to breathe for five more seconds. Last rows in three, in two, and we're done here in house. Okay, so since this one's a little more dynamic, I'm gonna give you 20 seconds to recover. Move the bell or your weight to the other side. It could be something as light as a milk jug, something like that with some water. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. Again, it's a sprawl or burpee, however you wanna dress it up, followed by two rows. We're going in three. Ready in two. And let's go, here we go, in, out, and then two rows. Try to match the same amount of reps if you count it on your left side as you did on your right side. Okay, same thing, two rows, one sprawl or one burpee. You guys are doing great. Really good work, great job in house. Out, in, two rows, tight core, no matter what, we're 20 seconds away in movement number two, guys, you're doing well. Stay with us here, you're doing great. Continue to push, we have 10 seconds left. Okay, a couple more rows on the right side. Maybe one more sprawl. Last rows, we're done in three, in two, and good guys. Great job, really good work. Again, continue to breathe. That one was a little bit more dynamic there for you. As we move back, the opposite of a row is going to be a press. So now we're gonna go into a chest press with a leg raise. So very important here, when we're doing this one, we're on our back to start with. Our weight is always up, and my legs are always up, okay? Same exact thing, all right? I'm going to do two presses. One, two press. The weight is up. When it's up, my legs come down, and they come back up. My legs are always elevated. Press one, press two, hold, up top. Legs are down, legs are back up. Again, legs are always up, dumbbells up. Two presses, rest at the top. Legs go down, legs come back up. We'll have one side for 40 seconds and then the other side for 40 seconds, guys. Bring the participants back in, all clear out of the way. Okay, so your legs are up and that kettlebell is up. We're gonna go ahead and start it in five seconds just so we can stay on pace. Arm is up, leg is up. They're trying to figure out how to get situated to be on the camera here. Here we go, we're going in three. My legs are up, my arms are up. Legs are up, please, in two. And two presses, let's go. One, two, hold it at the top. Legs come down, legs come back up. Two presses, down, up, down, up. Hold the bell at the top, and then your legs go down and up. Great job. Again, 40 seconds. If two presses becomes too much, you can take it to one press. Okay, if your weight is too heavy, you can press on center with two hands. Okay, not a big deal. We're doing great. You're over your halfway point. Again, whether it's one or two presses, pause, and then get your leg raise in. You're doing great. 
Continue to breathe. We have five seconds left on this side. So even it out. Here we go in three, in two, and good. Okay, switch your weight across your body. Same thing, other side. When we start, your legs are elevated, your arm is elevated. We go in five. Here we go. Ready in three, in two, and let's begin. One press, two press, hold, legs down, legs up. Really good job. That's your pace. Hold tight through your core. Keep your legs up. Strong legs. That's going to keep your back nice and flat, guys. Really good work. Continue to breathe. We just hit our halfway point here. 20 seconds in, 20 seconds left. Really good job. Continue to breathe and work hard. Exhaling that air as you push that bell to the ceiling. We have 10 seconds, guys. You're doing great. Stay with me here. We have five seconds. Even it out. We're done in three, in two, and good, guys. Great job. All right, leg raises and presses are done. We're going to move into our fourth movement again. One side. So we're going to take that bell, whether it's a dumbbell or kettlebell. It's going to be a single arm swing. So when we do a swing, it's very much like being on a swing set. My booty goes back and I push forward, okay? We've all been on a swing set before. I'm driving through my hips. It's not a squat. We're not going up and down. We're going back and forward. And you'll see why we're talking about back and forward because we're gonna do a single arm swing. And as it comes up to the lightest point, I'm gonna take two steps forward. So I'm gonna swing, step right, step left, swing, and then I'm gonna step back to where I started. So swing, step, step, swing, step, step. Same side to row, forward with my right because it's in my right hand, and then back with my left. Forward with my right, then up, and then back with my left to get back to even. I'm gonna do 40 seconds with a swing, step forward and step back on my right and then forward on my left. If swinging and stepping is too much, just go to a single arm swing and just leave that step out of it. Again, whatever's best for you, but from the side, again, you hinge and you push. It's not a squat, it's a hinge, okay? I'll bring my participants back in. We'll get rolling here. Again, 40 seconds of a swing when the bell is up, you step up underneath of it, you swing it again, and then you step back. We're starting in five. Here we go in three, in two, and let's begin. We have a swing, step, step, swing, step, step. So every time that bell comes up, your right, left foot go, and then your left, right foot go. Back and forth, same side. Don't forget about the premise of this move, though. It's all based on the hinge of those hips. Same side. We're halfway, 20 seconds in. Okay, there's a long movement here with forward and back swings. You're doing well. Continue to keep your abs tight and breathe. We're 10 seconds out. Good work, forward and back, big hip thrust as you push forward and back. We're done in five, we're done in three, two, and good. Bells are down, I'm gonna give you the extra time. That one was a little bit more dynamic, much like the burpee in the row. Good job. Okay, 15 seconds left to breathe. We're just switching sides. If you didn't try this step before, maybe you try it now, maybe you wait till the second round to try it, whatever's best for you. I need you to really push the pace now. We're gonna start in five. Here we go, team, ready, in three, in two, and let's go. Other arm, swing, step, step, swing, back, step, back, step. Here we go, squad, good job. Good work, you guys are doing great. Continue to push through those hips, squeeze your buns as that bell comes up to chest height. Really nice work. We're crushing it here in house, hopefully you're crushing it at home. Okay, we're halfway through. We have 20 seconds left, okay? A little bit more stationary movement coming next, so give me all you got right here. We'll rest after this one. 10 seconds left now, team. Continue to push. If you need to stop moving your feet and just go to that swing, that's fine. We're finishing in five. We're finishing in three. Last swing in two and down, guys. Great job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Really good work. That was a tough one. Then we're getting some foot fives here in house. Okay, guys, so next, we are gonna go into a side plank, hip dip with a leg raise. Okay, a lot of words. Uh, pretty easy to follow along, though, once we see the motion. All we're really focusing on is that side plank. You can cut things out or do the full motion. But what's most important is that my elbow is directly underneath my shoulder. So I'm gonna come up to a side plank. Top arm remains up. That's gonna keep me in line from my bottom shoulder down. I'm gonna to touch my hips, come up, pause, and then raise my top leg. Come back to stationary in the middle, touch my hips, back up to center, and then do a top leg raise for 40 seconds. So you can see, okay, you can do a million reps or you can just maybe do 15 or 10 or whatever it is. Drop down, come up, and then lift. If you need to rest your bottom knee down, that's fine. You can just work on that leg raise on the top. If you can be in that side plank, that's great. But again, you add in what feels right for you. 
Maybe it's the dip, maybe it's the top leg raise, maybe you take out the leg raise, maybe you take out the dip, whatever it is. Maybe you focus on the side plank, but you have to have a strong foundation from the side plank first. Okay, so no weight needed. Let's bring in the participants. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. Okay, side plank, dip to leg raise. We're starting in five. Here we go, 40 seconds. We go in three, in two, and let's go. Dip down, touch your hip, set, and then lift that leg. Great job. Again, maybe count your reps on this side because we're gonna do the other side and we wanna be even. Great job, this is not a fast paced movement. Very technical, very slow. Drop the hips, touch, lift, leg raise. Great work, we're doing awesome. We're over our halfway point here in house. We're doing great. Down up with the leg raise. If you haven't tried the leg raise or maybe haven't tried the hip dip yet, try it. We're under 10 seconds. Five seconds left in three, in two, and good, guys. Great job switching sides, flipping right over again. I'm only gonna give you 10 seconds of rest here because this one isn't super dynamic on the heart rate. Five seconds, we're coming back. Okay, make the mirror image of the other side in three, in two, top arm is up, and we drop down. Touch that hip, and then we leg raise. Good job, team. Very, very good. Down, up with the hip, and then top leg raise. Full 40 seconds. Again, if any of this stuff is bothering you, just revert back to the side plank. Very, very good work. We are just at the halfway point here. We have 20 seconds left. Great work in house. Dipping down, touching that hip, coming back up with that top leg raise. Really good job, guys. We're gonna have one more move in our round of six after this. We have 10 seconds left here in this movement. Stay with me. There's no doubt about it, it's hard, but that's why we came this morning. We're done in three, last rep in two, and good, guys. Great job, really, really good work. Uh, let the participants slide out, grab a sip of water. I'm gonna slide back in and show you the demo. If you happen to have a band, okay, you will utilize this band here um, in this round. If you don't have a band, again, not a big deal. I'll show you what that looks like without it. So if you do have the band, we're gonna go ahead and kind of lay it flat on the floor and slip your toes in it because we're gonna do a knee drive, okay? It'll be a knee drive pulling up, okay? With the knee drive, we're gonna add a little bit of upper body component. So this is different than the first five movements because this first one, we're gonna take the kettlebell behind the head. So I'm gonna hold the kettlebell for a tricep extension. I'm gonna do only my right leg knee drive. When the foot finds the floor, I do a tricep extension. I bring it back down to set. Right side, knee drive, tricep extension. Right side, knee drive, tricep extension. When I get to my left side, Okay, now my left side, I'm gonna hold the bell on the front. I'll do a knee drive with the left side, but instead of triceps, I'm gonna do an on-center overhead press. So left side knee drive, on-center overhead press. So two different movements for your upper body based on the right and the left. Again, if you don't have a band, what I'm looking for in this first one is you just bring that leg up, you set it back down, tricep extension. Or if you'd like to, hold the balance and do a tricep extension, that's totally fine as well. But again, we're only lifting our right leg with a tricep extension, then I'll cue you to the left leg with the on-center press. I'll bring the participants back in. This is the last movement of our first round, guys. So whether you have a band or whether you don't, make the necessary adjustments. We're gonna start in about 10 seconds. Again, we're driving our right leg up with a tricep extension. We're gonna start in three. We're gonna start in two. And let's go, right leg drive, set it to the floor, tricep extension. Right leg drive, tricep extension, core is nice and tight, never arching your back, only driving the right leg and then extending over the top. Again, working on those hip drives, core strength, and then tricep extension. We're halfway at 20 seconds, team. You're doing great. Continue to push, chest tall, shoulders back, burning up these triceps in house. We have 10 seconds left. Core is strong, we're doing great. Keep it focused, pop it up. We did the triceps first because we knew it was gonna burn it out. In three, in two, and good, bringing it down. Great job, guys, really good work. Rest it up as you need. Now we're gonna hold it on center. Your other leg is gonna move. This is the last one of, the, of this first full round. We'll take rest after this. We go in three, in two, and one. Here we go. We got a left leg drive and a press. Good, left leg drive and then a press. Good job, use that core. Left leg drive and then a press. We're already 10 seconds in, you guys are doing Oh, now we got the 2C slide in here. Uh, we got a little, uh, little remix of the 2C slide, the banded press 2C slide here. We got 15 seconds left, driving that left knee up on center, big press overhead, 10 seconds left. Let's finish this out, squad. We'll take a break after this. You're doing great. We are five seconds out. Give me one more knee drive, one more press in three, in two, 
And good, guys. Great job. Everything is down. Rest. Take a second. Grab a sip of water. If you have a towel, towel off. Hopefully, you broke a sweat by now. If not, you need to drink some water. Um, other than that, guys, that is round one. We're going to go back to and do it one more time, okay? A second round of the same thing, and then we will have a five-minute finisher, okay? We're going to keep the timing right on pace. Everything's looking good. I hope you're having a good time with us at home. You're staying with us. Um, again, jamming out this morning on our Saturday morning, getting a nice, strong sweat in. When we come back, again, if you have that elevated surface, you'll bring it back in. You'll do that bridge, that reach-up crunch, okay? That's what we're going to be starting with. In about 40 seconds, guys, about 40 seconds, I'm going to move some of the other equipment out of the way. Again, they're going to bring their elevated surface back in. Maybe you didn't have time to find it earlier. Maybe you can find it now. Again, whether it's a coffee table, you can move us over towards your steps. You can do it off a step if you're outside, a bench, whatever that may be. But again, if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Focus on the bridge, getting your hips up, and then reaching your cross to that toe tap. We're starting in 20 seconds so we can keep the heart rate high and keep on pace. So I'm bringing my participants back in. I'm going to fall out to the side, guys. Again, okay, let's find that position. If you started with your right leg on the box last time, maybe start with your left leg. Just alternate that side. Same side in a row. Five seconds to start with. One foot on, one foot to the ceiling in three, in two, and let's go. Bridge down, opposite reach, toe tap. This is for a full 20 seconds, uh, a full 40 seconds. I'm so sorry, full 40 seconds. But this is the last time you'll be doing this move today. So let's make sure you maximize the bridge on this leg and the crunch up to this toe, okay? Driving it up and then reaching across. We are 20 seconds in with 20 seconds to go still on this side. Again, strong bridge, fire the glutes, fire the hamstrings, reach up to that toe. 10 seconds left on this side. Really good job, team. Continue to push. You got it. We're five seconds out now. Big bridge, big reach. We're done in three. We're done in two, and good, guys. All right, we're switching those legs. Not a long break, only 10 seconds. Okay, we don't need a long break. Just reset yourself. Last time you're doing this move today, we start in three, in two, and let's go. Bridge, and then down, up, reach across, guys. Full 40 seconds of your bridges to your crossbody reaches. Really good job. We are 10 seconds in. Really good work. Bridge, and then reach it up. Nice job here in house. We just hit the halfway point at 20 seconds. Good. Bridge, and then reach up, squeeze, tap. Great job, team. We are 10 seconds left here. 10 seconds, you're doing incredible. Stay with us. Final five, maybe two reps. We're done in three, in two, and good, guys. All right, let's ditch that elevated platform or move yourself away from your coffee table or whatever that was. Let's find your weight again. Um, for that burpee or sprawl to that double row. Again, you did it the first time, so you know what's coming. You know how hard it was, so maybe you need to slow down. Maybe you put in three rows, because that's just going to take up a little bit more time instead of doing that burpee. Okay, but again, if you started with the bell rowing on the right side, let's start with it on the left side this time, okay? Let's bring our participants back in. We're going to start in about 10 seconds. Don't need a ton of break here. I'm going to slide out of screen. We're starting in 10, okay? It's a sprawl to two rows, they're both gonna start on their left side. We're going in three, we're going in two, and let's go. Hands find the floor, out, in, row one, row two, bell to the floor. Again, full 40 seconds on this side, so pace yourself, okay? This doesn't have to be a blazing speed. However, if you had some cocktails last night, have some blazing speed, okay? Let's get that sweat rolling a little bit here, okay? Let's pump it out. We're 20 seconds in, we're 20 seconds left. The good news is this is the last time you have to do this move today on this side. Guys, good job. 10 seconds left now. Stay with me. You get that 20-second break in between. Good job. We are five seconds left. Continue to push. We're done in three, two, and good. We rest, guys. Good job. 20 seconds to rest. Move your weight or whatever you may have to the other side. You're doing well. Again, after this one, we'll be lying on our backs. So you're going to get some active recovery. Here we go. We're starting in five seconds. It's time to work, okay? It's time to earn your Saturday morning. Here we go in three, in two, and let's go. Sprawl, two rows on the right arm in house. Really good job. Full 40 seconds. Pace yourself, team. Really good job. Two rows to one sprawl. Crushing it in house, guys. Really nice work. We just hit the halfway point at 20 seconds, okay? Last time you're doing a sprawl today, guys. So knock this guy out. Really good job. Big breaths. They're breathing in-house. We're under 10 seconds. Good rows each time. This will be their last sprawl 
out in final rows in three, in two, and we rest, guys. Excellent job. Big breath. Good job. We are now going to combat that row back with our single arm press with our leg raises. So again, imagine I have that weight in my hand. Okay. My legs are up. I do one, two press. My weight is up. While it's up, my legs come down and they come back up. My legs are always up. As I do my two presses, arm stays up, legs go down, okay? 40 seconds on the right, 40 on the left. Again, last set of presses you'll have today. So again, if you start on the right last time, let's start on the left side. Here we go. We're going to bring the participants back in. Fire it up in about 10, 15 seconds, guys, okay? So find the floor. Legs are elevated. The weight is elevated as well. My legs are up and my arm is up, okay? We're starting in five seconds. Everything is pointing towards the ceiling. We're starting in three. In two, and let's go. Two presses, one press, two press. Legs go down, legs go up with that bell up. Great job. Two presses, the one leg raise. Really good job. If you're having trouble with the leg raise, you can either drop one leg at a time or you can put both feet flat on the floor. But you're doing great. We're halfway through. Okay, we're 20 seconds in on this side. We're doing great. Down and up with those presses in between. Really, really good job, team. We have 10 seconds left. We're pressing on this side. Really good job. Five seconds, maybe a couple more presses. We're done in three, two, and good. You can let your legs rest. You can let the bell rest. Take a second. We'll give you a little time. Last set of presses. Last set of leg raises. We'll start in five. My legs are up. My arm is up. We go in three. In two, let's go. One press, two press. Hold, legs down, legs up. Good work. One press, two press, legs down, legs up. Fantastic job, guys. This will be the last time with this combination. Let's really work hard to get through this. We just hit the halfway point. You're doing great. Stay strong. If you need to take that press down to one press because it's getting too hard, that's totally fine. Good job. We have 10 seconds left now. 10 seconds of this movement left. Come on, stay with me to the end. That's why you came. We're done in five. We're done in three, in two, and good. We're done with this one in house. Great job, guys. Setting it down, coming up, taking a second, on to a much more dynamic movement now, okay? We're back to those swings. Again, if you didn't try this step with those swings, okay? We're gonna take that swing. When it's up, step, step, swing, step, step. So the steps are pretty quick because as that bell is up and weightless, that's when I'm moving underneath of it. Swing, step, step, swing, step, step. Again, if the steps are not right for you, just work on your hinge, your booty goes back, and you're pressed to that swing. It'll be 40 seconds on one side and 40 on the other. Okay, then we'll drop you back down to that side plank and grab some recovery. Okay, we're gonna start in 15 seconds. I'm out, participants are in. Okay, we're swinging in 10 seconds, okay? Pick an arm, okay, pick a strategy. We got it in five, ready in three in two, and let's go. Swing it up, step, step, swing it back, step, step. Again, pace yourself on your swings and your steps. You guys are doing great. Continue to push with your hips, squeeze your buns as they come forward. Great job, we are halfway now, 20 seconds in on our right side or left side, whatever side that may be for you. You're doing great. Continue to drive through your hips, Push like you're on a swing set. 10 seconds left. Come on, team. This is why you checked in this morning. Five seconds. We're done in three, in two, and good, guys. Great job. I will give you that time in between this time. Switching arms. Your movement will look the same forward and back with your steps. You guys are doing great. 10 more seconds, and we're right back into it. Here we go, squad. We're back up in five. We're back up in three, two, and let's go. Swing, step, step. Swing, step, step. Forward steps, backward steps. Excellent job. Really good work. Last time you have swings today, you guys are doing great. Stay focused. Mental toughness. Continue to breathe. Great job, squad. That's our halfway point, 20 seconds. Continue to push through your hips. We're almost done swinging this bell. I promise no tricks after this. 10 seconds, guys. Come on. Stay with us here. Swing, swing, step, step, five seconds. Push it in three, in two, and good. Excellent work, team. Take that second, breathe it out, 
grab water, grab your towel if it's handy. Your next move will be that side plank, hip dip with leg raise, okay? Your base move is the side plank. Your hip goes down, your hip comes back up. Lateral raise with the leg. Again, if you started with your right forearm down, maybe you start with your left forearm down. Add things as you want, take things out as you want, but it's 40 seconds. The most important thing is the base movement of that side plank when we return, okay? 15 seconds, we're coming back at you. I'm gonna step out, side plank, hip drop to leg raise, guys, okay? 10 seconds and we're gonna roll. 40 seconds on the right, 40 on the left. This is movement number five. We're going in three, in two, and let's begin. Drop the hip down, come up set, and then leg raise. Good job. Again, how you do this move is completely up to you. Maybe you're including the hip dip. Maybe you're including the leg raise. Maybe you're taking one of them out. It doesn't matter. Do what's right for you, but stay dedicated to your side plank. We are 20 seconds in, 20 seconds left. Side plank, hip dip, modification here. Stefan is dropping down to his knee down. That way he has some support. If it's just too much on his shoulder, you're under 10 seconds, but still able to accomplish all the movements here. Last three seconds, one more dip, one more leg raise in two, and good, guys. Great job. Switching sides, excellent work. 40 seconds, final side plank today. Down and up with those hips, up and down with that leg. We're going in three. We're going in two, and let's begin. Down, up, leg raise. Again, take the modification or variation that you need that is gonna serve you best this morning, but let's continue to be active and strong through our core, through our mind. Let's continue to work. This is movement number five of 16. We're doing so great. Stay with us here. Okay, we have 20 seconds left here of these side plank, dip, leg raises. Incredible work at home showing extreme amount of effort and dedication. 10 seconds left. Stay with us here. Good job. Big breath, guys. Five seconds. One more up and down. We're done in three. We're done in two. And good, guys. Great job. They're done. They're so glad they're done here in-house. I'm glad for them. Okay, we're coming back to center. Again, we're going to utilize that band, okay? Again, this has two different movements for the upper body component. Again, first one is starts behind the head. We do the leg drive, tricep leg drive, tricep, and then on center, other leg, press. Again, we'll do the right side and then left side. Which leg you wanna do first, it's up to you. I would highly recommend doing the tricep first because that's the harder movement. Do the tricep first with whatever leg and you do the press second with your next leg, all right? Let's bring the participants back in. Last one here, guys, 40 and 40. We do have a finisher. If you have time to knock out the finisher with us after this one, that's great. If you got to get out of here, no problem at all. We're going to start in about 15 seconds after we get these bands on. Again, does not matter what leg you start with. Stay on the same leg, but let's definitely start with that tricep first, guys. Let's get that tricep overhead in-house. We're starting in three, in two, and let's go. Leg drive, set it down, and tricep. No doubt about it, these triceps are going to be hard. Okay, so if you'd like to take two knee drives and then one tricep, or even forego the tricep and just work on the legs. That's totally fine. You guys are doing great. Continue to push, drive your knee, hit those triceps. We're 20 seconds in. 20 seconds, guys. You're doing great. Continue to work. 10 seconds left here. Drive the knee. Maybe it's two leg drives, one triceps. Maybe it's no more triceps. Five seconds. Finish it. We're done in three, in two, and good. All right. Bringing that weight on the center now for a center press. Switching your legs. This is the final 40 seconds we have on these movements today. And then we'll talk about the finisher if you have time. We're starting in five. Let's bring that bell back up on center. We go in three. We go in two. And let's go. Knee drive on center press. Core is always tight, never arching your back. On center. Good job. And then drive it up, guys. Good work. Pressing overhead. You guys are doing well. Knee drive on center press. Great work, team. We're doing great. We're at our halfway point. You're doing awesome. Stay focused. Let's work now. Knee drive. Let's finish this out. Take it home to the end. We're doing great. We have five seconds left here in house, guys. Come on. One more knee drive, maybe two. One more press. We're done in three. We're done in two. And good, guys. Great job. Really, really good work. That is what we had for our are two rounds of six movements. Stefan's looking for a foot five. Rick may not give it to him. I'm going to knock it in there for him. 
um, as we're taking about a minute rest and as we're going to move forward. If you've got to get off, guys, we totally understand. Um, for those of you guys that came to the Front Porch Festival, thank you guys so very much. We really appreciate your participation today. If you've got time to stick with us, we're going to do a finisher. If you want to do it even for a couple minutes, that's great. What it's going to be is a descending rep count. We're going to start at eight, and we're going to work our way down to one. Okay, you have two movements. Okay, eight down to one. It is an in-out squat. So my feet are going to start inside. I'm going to go inside one, outside one, then two, then two, then three, then three, then four, then four. I'm going to do that to eight. Then I'm going to drop down in a plank position. I'm going to reach under. I am going to do a toe tap. Toe tap right one, toe tap left one. Also for eight each side. Eight each side, pushing back, toe tap. I'll then come back up as fast as I can, get back in. I'll have seven inside, outside, seven toe taps, then six all the way down to one. Maybe you complete it, maybe you don't, but that's how we're going to finish, guys. We're going to bring the participants back in. If you want to stay on with us, that's great. If you got to get out of here again, thank you so very much. We really appreciate you guys. For my folks um, at home, they're working out with us. Let's go ahead and knock this one out. I'm going to give you a full five minutes to do it. That way we finish out. If you get done before five minutes, kudos to you. If you don't even finish in the five minutes, again, no big deal. Finish to the end, guys. We're starting in 15 seconds. This is how we're going to finish today. Again, it's an in-out hop. One, one, two, two for eight. Under, across, eight each side. Then down to seven. I'll coach you through here. We're going in three. We're going in two. And let's go. Inside one. Outside one. Two, two, three. Three, you're hearing me coach it through. Four, four here in the house, so you know the counting. Five, good, there's six, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight, down to a plank position. Toe taps, eight each toe, one on Rick. Other one on Rick, then we're back to number two and two, so eight each side, and then you're back up and you're down to seven, guys. This is how we'll finish, okay? So if they have time to work with us, continue to stay with us. If you're out the door and gone, we'll see you guys soon, hopefully. Great job. If you're still working with us at home, they're finishing their round of eight. We'll be on to our round of seven. Inside, inside, outside, outside. This is now for seven, guys. Really good job. Again, this is your time to leave everything with us here, okay? Whatever energy and effort you have left, in, out, in, out, seven, and then back to those toe taps. You're doing great, guys. I know this is a struggle to finish, and that's what we want. We want this finisher to be exactly what it stands for. We want to wipe you out. Knock it out here, that way you feel good as you go on and go out through your Saturday, guys. It's seven toe taps each side. Yes, that's correct, seven each side. And then we'll be back up to six, guys. You're doing great. We're just over 90 seconds of actual work, guys, here, okay? You're doing great. These are our higher rep counts. We're gonna be into six. It gets better each time because the reps get lower. If you need to breathe, please breathe, okay? But challenge yourself appropriately so you're getting a little cardio blast in here along with a little thigh burn, and then some flexibility in those shoulders and those hamstrings. It's six. In or out for six, then six toe taps per side, guys. We are crushing. We are moving on, okay? We're doing great. Under reach, hips are lifting, pushing back, stretching, toe tapping. We're on our count of six in-house. We're doing great, guys. Each one gets a little less, and that's what we're going for. We're almost there. Stay with us. Continue to breathe. When you're ready and back up, it's for five, guys. These are going to start to fly through, okay? Great job. In and out for five. Stefan is on it this morning. He is pushing the pace. Rick is falling along. He is wearing those shoes in my house. Here we go. Keep it moving. Five inside out, back and forth. Five toe taps each side. If you're still working with us at home, we still have three minutes left to finish, okay? If you're ahead of us, great work. Keep that pace. If you're behind us, no problem. Still continue to work. Five toe taps each side, and they'll be on to four. They're really going to be happy when they get down to like that number three or number two, okay? We're almost there, guys. Stay with us. We're on to four here in house. This is the finisher on purpose. It is supposed to finish him, okay? That is what we're going for, guys. Let's knock it out. Four, one, one, two, two, three, three, all the way up to four. Four toe taps each side. We're so close now. Continue to work. We're getting some good push going here. We're working till the end, guys. Four each side. Great job. We'll be up to that count of three. We're getting so small in our rep count. You're doing well. We're right on it, team. Good work. We're back up. We're on to three. One, one, two, two, three, three. Knocking it out. This is just mental fortitude pushing through. When your body is exhausted, 
your mind has to keep on pushing, guys. You're doing great. Three toe taps each side, just like Stevan said. Let's get it. Here we go. We have two minutes left if you're still working at home. If you're already done, you crushed it this morning. Congratulations. You're doing great. They're going to be back up in-house for only two. That's the good news. One, one, two, two, two toe taps apiece. One, one, two, two in-house, two toe taps each side. We are almost to the finale, guys. Great job. If you're still working, great push. Continue to push the pace. We're on to that one final rep, guys. One out, one in, one toe tap each side. 90 seconds left on my clock in-house. So if you're still working, continue to work. These guys are finished. One toe tap, other toe tap, and they are done, guys. Great job. Really, really good work. You guys absolutely crushed it today. Um, again, thank you guys so much for joining us. If you're still working, you still have a minute to finish out. Challenge yourself appropriately. Don't give up just because we're done. Go at that slower pace. Finish it out. Again, for all of you that may still be with us from the Front Porch Festival, again, thank you so very much. This is Eric, Stefan, and also Rick from Fitness in the City. It's been a pleasure coaching you through this morning, getting to be a part of your Saturday morning, getting you nice and sweaty, guys. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please reach out. That is going to be just about your time if you're finishing up at home, guys. Again, if you got through that finisher, great work. Um, really good job today, guys. As you know, we're doing a uh, weight drop-off. For those of you that borrowed weights, if we've made special arrangements with you to hold on to your weights a little bit longer, that's fine. But again, we're going to be at the Five Point Studio today and tomorrow from 10 to noon for weight drop-off and T-shirt pickup. Um, that's all we really got for you today. Uh, Stefan wants to jump in and say a quick thing here. Just want to say thanks to our Pillar Pro, um, other than that, guys, that's it for today. We're signing off. It's your fitness poppy, it's your boy. We out Saturday. We gone. Woo. Steph, it was just thanking the strength of the people, our strength of the city peeps, for those that didn't hear. Thank you, guys.